The Billionaire Genocide I was there that horrible day when they executed all the billionaires, alive and in living color. It was a day that marked the beginning of a dark and twisted chapter in human history. The world had turned into a cauldron of hatred and vengeance, fueled by slogans that demonized the wealthy and condemned capitalism itself. While some still held on to their humanity, realizing the wrongness of the witch hunt, it seemed that evil had taken its course, and we were left to witness the devastating consequences. The execution of the billionaires was just the beginning. The masses, driven by a mix of horror and perverse pleasure, continued to demand bloodshed. The power-hungry leaders, seizing the opportunity, consolidated their control, leaving the world in a state of utter chaos. The death toll rose, as anyone with considerable wealth became a target. First, those with billions were executed, then those with millions, until even having a million dollars was considered a crime punishable by death. As the dominoes fell, society crumbled. The once thriving market ceased to exist, and production ground to a halt. With no incentive for hard work or success, the world descended into poverty and starvation. The very people who had once clamored for equality now found themselves equal in misery, their lives dependent on the piles of bodies left in the streets. To ensure their control, the leaders disarmed any opposition. The NRA, a powerful organization advocating for gun rights, was eradicated along with their families. The sins of the father became the justification for the slaughter of innocent children, all in the name of preventing the spread of evil thoughts. In the name of protecting the environment, those responsible for polluting it were hunted down and executed. The world had turned into a twisted interpretation of justice, where any means justified the end. Silence replaced dissent, as speaking out against the atrocities meant immediate silencing. The religions, once a source of solace for many, turned against each other. They too fell victim to the madness, with followers slaughtering one another in their misguided attempts to help the evildoers enter the kingdom of heaven. In their ultimate act of devotion, they took their own lives and the lives of their children, believing it would pave the way to righteousness. Now, only a mere three million people remain on earth. Those of us who managed to survive exist in a barren world devoid of technology. Each day is a struggle for the basic necessities of life, food, medicine, and shelter. The concept of medicine itself has been deemed evil, further exacerbating the hardships faced by the few remaining souls. The year is 2034 and the world stands as a stark reminder of what happens when hatred and extremism reign. The evil of men's souls has been exposed in its rawest form, leaving behind a ravaged planet and shattered lives. As we strive to rebuild, we carry the weight of the past, knowing that the scars left behind will forever shape our existence.